Let's look at the properties uh, here now. So you have anchor point, position, scale, rotation, and opacity. Uh, anchor point is different from the other four, so I'm looking at it in a different video. So I'm going to start with position. Position is simply the position of the object um, that's selected or that you're looking at on the screen. The position has a set of coordinates, the x and the y values, and these x and y values will tell you how far across the object is on the x and how far down it is on the y. So the x is always the horizontal measurement, the y is always the vertical measurement. Now the coordinates are taken from um, a point of origin at the top left hand side of 0, 0. Okay, so 0, 0 is always at the top left hand side of the um, screen. So this is a HDV composition, so it's going to be 1920 across and 1080 down. So I can see that the position of this is 935, 514. So it's 935 pixels across, 514 pixels down. The other important thing to note is that it takes the anchor point here, this little shape here in the center of my um, object as the reference point for the position. So this exact point here, the anchor point, is 935 pixels across from the left hand side, 514 pixels down. If I pick that up and move it down, you'll see that the Y value is changing quite a lot. So if I pull it all the way down to the bottom there, you'll see that the position is now 957928. So it's pretty straightforward. So it's the distance across the X and down the Y from 0, 0 to wherever that anchor point is tells you the position of the shape. The scale is quite straightforward in that it starts at 100% when you bring a shape into the composition. And if you were to uh, reduce that size by clicking and dragging on these values, you'll see that it goes down to a percentage value of that size. If you want to lock the aspect ratio and have it scale in equal um, amounts vertically and horizontally, then leave this checked. If, on the other hand, you want to just adjust the vertical scale, or the horizontal scale rather, then deselect that. So these are no longer linked. I can do each one independently of the other. So leave that checked if you want to have the, the vertical and the horizontal scale uh, done at the same time. Now another way that you can scale is just to have your selection tool click and drag in any direction. So now I can do it vertically, I can do it horizontally. If I hold down shift it will lock them again. Okay, So this is how you do it out in the composition window. You click and drag from a corner if you want to just kind of do a freehand transformation of scale and then hold down shift if you want to just uh, lock them together and do it in a uniform kind of way. If you click and drag from the left then you will just uh, scale it horizontally. If you click and drag from the top or the bottom then you will just scale it vertically. That's the scale. The rotation is pretty straightforward. You have two values here for your property. You have revolutions and you have degrees. So what you can do is you can uh, adjust it by clicking and dragging on that in either direction to adjust the rotation. Or you can click and drag this value here and it will, rev it will turn it in one complete revolution. Now you won't notice this until you animate it, so I'll do a quick animation here. Six seconds and I will do um, six revolutions. So when I go back through the timeline there you'll see it revolves six times between those two keyframes. Now I should point out that at any stage you don't need to click and drag on these numbers, you can click into them once and actually assign a value to it. Now the last one here is the opacity, it's pretty straightforward. At 100% it's fully opaque or visible and as you click and drag to the left, it will become more transparent until it gets to zero when it's invisible. You can't go more than 100% because you can't be more visible than fully visible. So those are the properties, position, scale, rotation, and opacity.